Hey everybody, it's Jake from Wild Academy, and welcome to day 27 of learning to program in Ruby. Today we're going to be covering the conditional assignment operator, but first, real quick, I just want to let you know that we started the Learn GIMP series, so you can go to the channel and you can learn GIMP. GIMP is the free and open source version of Photoshop. We have Mike Weger doing the tutorials, but you can find those on the Wild Academy homepage, and he's done a really good job. They're really slick and professional. So if you're interested in graphic design at all, make sure to check those out. All right, so let's go ahead and get started with day 27. So we're going to create a new file here, yeah, ruby.rb. So as I said, today we're going to be covering the conditional assignment operator. And what that looks like is that's two bars and equals. And what that means is that whenever we assign something, so if we we're going to assign a variable, so let's do favorite animal, favorite animal. I'm loud on my keys today. Okay, and we're going to assign that to, let's just do cat for right now. And, oh, catch, cat. So we've assigned this variable to cat. We actually need to make it a string. All right, so we've assigned this variable to cat. So what we're going to do is we're going to write favorite cat again, and we're going to set that equal to something with a conditional. So we'll do the two bars and the equal sign. Oop. And we will set that now equal to dog. So if we come down here, we're going to write print and we're gonna print favorite animal. All right, so let's go ahead and save that. And we're gonna to need to save it as conditional conditional and we can save that in there let's go ahead and open our command prompt with Ruby let's pull that in right here and hit enter so you can see here that it's still showing us cat because what the conditional does is it'll set this equal to dog if it already isn't set to something else so if we come up here and we change this to nil, which means nothing in Ruby, so favorite animal is set to nothing right now, then we hit save and we hit up to pull that same file back in, it sets it to dog. So another example would be, let's come back up here, favorite, uh, favorite animal is currently set to dog, so if we come down here, we can type in favorite animal again, and we're going to set a conditional again, and we're going to set the favorite animal here to a emu. And then we're going to come down here. And oh, I got a picture of an emu. Hold on. Here we go. Boom. That's your emu. Oh, man. <laughs> this bird just makes me laugh looking at it. Uh, nope, that's a swordfish. That's an emu. And that's an emu. All right. OK, now let's go back. All right. So. Now we're going to save that and we will bring that back in. And because we have this set as a conditional here, uh, and because favorite animal is already set to dog here, it's not going to be changed to emu. Okay, so we're going to do one more and we're going to do that favorite animal. There we go. And we're going to make this equals to instead of conditionally. And we're going to do a ripi mannequin. A ripi, I don't know if that's right. Ari, ara, ripi, ara ripi, mannequin. There we go. And that needs to be capitalized. Okay. So now that we've set that equal to, and real quick, also I have a picture of the Aripi mannequin, which I think I'm saying wrong, but it sounds funny. Okay, there it is. It's a beautiful bird. It's uh, actually one of the most endangered uh, birds on the planet right now and in 2006 the population size was only about 800 and in 2010 the estimate dropped to 779 and in August of 2008 Sir David Attenborough he's the host of the planet Earth and all of the British the BBC uh, wildlife shows he started championing this bird and to help protect it and brought a lot of awareness and now he's brought it back up to 500 pairs of the Aripi mannequin and so huge kudos to him it's it's great 
But let's go back to the tutorial. Oh, there's a sawfish again. Another sawfish. Emu, emu. And let's go back. Okay, so we've set this equal to a ripi mannequin. And then we're going to save this and bring this back over. Hit up. And you can see that it has made it a ripi mannequin. And the reason is, is because we didn't make it a conditional. If we did come back in here and we made it a conditional, so two bars, and then we saved it, and bring it back in, and it goes right back to the original dog. So even if we came in here and we made it equal to emu here, and we saved it, now what will happen is it will result in emu. Hope that makes sense. I know this was a short one. But I've just been so busy lately, and in fact, I am looking for anybody who is interested in making some tutorials. I'm looking for somebody who, I really want to get uh, somebody who knows Blender well. I've done some Blender, but I don't think uh, that I have the time to really assemble you know, all of these lessons and make them good. So if you know Blender, please reach out to me. Um, I'd love to work something out with you so that we can do lessons. I want to do maybe 10 basic ones and 10 project-based ones, so it would be kind of like you would create a character or something or create an interior and that would be a 10-part series and then also a 10-part series for the basics for somebody who's just downloaded uh, blender also i'm looking for somebody who is good at audacity again i don't have time to create the audacity tutorials and i want to continue through with the Ruby programming, and I'm also getting ready for JavaScript to go through those, and I want to do at least 30 days of those as well. But um, yeah, time time is, uh, you only live once, I guess, and so uh, you can't relive the same day twice. This is not Groundhog's Day, so uh, if you can uh, help me in any way, that'd be awesome, and we'll talk. Just reach out to me, email, or send me a message on Hangouts, or a personal message on Google+, or just leave a message in the comments. I really appreciate it, and I will talk to you later. Have a good one. Oh, and again, oh, don't forget to subscribe. I uh, really appreciate it. And if you have any questions, make sure to leave those in the comments. Have a good one.